Hi, today I'm gonna to take a couple minutes to show you how to properly perform a backwash on your Carico whole house water filter. Performing a backwash is important because over time, sediment, dirt, or contaminants build up on the media and that prevents it from filtering the water effectively. Now, performing a backwash is simple if you remember two things. Number one, always make sure that the red valve for the water that flows into the building is shut off. Number two, always open and close valves very slowly. When you open a valve suddenly, it can lead to a big change in water pressure that churns up the filter media. That could lead you to receive some fine particles in your faucets. It's not harmful or damaging to the system, but we wanna to try to avoid that. So when we go to begin the backwash, the first step is to find the main water supply and shut it off. Once you do that, find the faucet nearest the unit in the house and open it. This will relieve the water pressure, making it easier for you to turn the valves. So once we've shut the water off, we've removed the pressure, we wanna come out to the unit. And the first thing we wanna do is make sure both of these valves are shut. The black one controls the water flowing into the unit. And as I said before, the red one controls the water flowing into the building. The second step we wanna do is decide which backwash attachment we want. You can use a different one depending on the hose that you have. Today we're gonna to use a hose that is threaded, so we're going to insert this one. In order to do that, you identify the retaining clip, pull it out, remove the unit that's in there. Now here you'll notice the gray restrictor valve. We wanna make sure that this is removed. Sometimes it may get stuck inside. If it is, just use your finger to pull it out. Now we'll put the threaded unit in and you simply insert it all the way, take the retaining clip and lock it in place. Okay, the next step we wanna do is to set the unit to backwash. In order to do that, you push the red button on the handle, turn it to the backwash setting. The next step is to turn the main water supply back on. So now that we've turned the water back on, I'm gonna show you how to attach the hose before we begin the backwash process. And again, if you're inside, you wanna use a hose, you'll attach one end to the backwash outlet, and you'll take the other end and run it to a drain. If the unit is located outside, you don't need to use the hose. So now that we have the water supply on, we have our hose in place, we're going to slowly turn the water on to allow water into the tank. And again, always turn the valve on slowly. This is normal, and this is exactly the material we want to eliminate during the backwash process. So we'll continue to run the backwash for about 15 to 20 minutes. By then the water should run clear. During this backwash process, you occasionally can check using a white or a clear pitcher or cup to see if it's running clear. As you can see, it's more clear, but it's still not perfect. So we need to continue the backwash process. Okay, now that the water is coming out clear, we can move to the next stage of the backwash, which is the fast rinse. In order to do that, we simply take the handle and move it clockwise until we reach rapid rinse. We'll leave it on rapid rinse for about 10 minutes. Now that our rapid rinse is done, what we need to do is first shut the main water supply off. Once the water supply is turned off, we need to make sure that both these valves are closed. The next thing we want to do is set our handle back to filter. 
Then we want to turn on the main water supply. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly open up the inlet valve. And you'll hear the water start to fill the tank. Once you stop to hear the water running, you know the tank is filled. Once it's reached that point, you can slowly open the valve to let the water go into the house. Remember, open it very slowly. Now once the valve is open, we'll go into the house and open the faucets to release any air that may have entered the system during the backwash process. The last step, we remove our hose, and that completes the process of performing a backwash on the Carrico whole house water system. Thank you.